What's up, LHS? I'm Ron Burgundy. And I'm Noel. Your books are on sale for $90 and are selling out quickly. Senior Super Superlative Media Day is Saturday, March 7th. All nominees need to be there to be photographed for the yearbook. Any students interested in helping to create the 2021 yearbook should see Ms. Peterson in A303 for an application. Senior night will be April 18th, the day after prom. Final voting for Senior Night Superlatives for seniors will be Tuesday, March 24th. If you are trying out to perform at Senior Night, please be in Ms. Fitzgerald's room A704 on Wednesday after school. See Ms. Awesome if you cannot make it. Tonight is the annual Wilson County All Sing. This year it is held here at Lebanon High School beginning at 7 p.m. Choirs from Lebanon, Watertown, Wilson Central, Mount Juliet, and Mount Juliet Christian will be performing. Traditional choral groups perform in the first half, and a a cappella group perform in the second half. The concert concludes with a mass choir piece featuring all five high schools together. If you are free, it is always enjoyable to go to the concert that brings our county together. It's a $10 admission sponsored by the Mount Juliet Noon Rotary. Now let's see what's going on with this week's edition of Silent Library. Welcome back to Silent Library Part 2. It is a competition starts today. Sophomores versus freshmen. We have John, Luke, as the freshman team. You have Jackson and Elena for the sophomore team. And same rules as last time, picking out of a jar or a bucket to uh, get a challenge. Yeah, get a challenge. Let me show the camera what it is. Show the camera what it is. Okay, what is it? It's hot sauce. Wait, are you still filming? Wait, we have to go first. Who's going first? Doesn't matter. The whole spoonful? Sorry, Mark. Sorry. Down the hatch. Good. Yeah, only one of you. Yeah, it's okay. Look at this. 
You have to guess what it is. Oh, he's guessing? Yeah, guess what it is. <laughs> Open <laughs> wide. Ugh. I'm the hot sauce. Dude, you can guess it. Keep guessing. What is it? What was it? That's disgusting. That was a hot sauce. It was horseradish. Okay, so. Alright, if you guys can eat the whole thing, you guys can eat it. Wait, do we get pepper all of them? All of them. Uh-huh, you still can guess it. Who's winning? All of them? She guessed. She spit it. Garlic, onion, jam. If you win, got jam. Wait, we're us. We're winning, right? I don't know. We got killer and hot sauce. They just got their phone call. And, uh, oh my god. That's all. That's all. Oh yeah, it's so it you want. It's two one. If you eat this whole thing, Wait, you swallow it, that's a point. I know, that's a Come on, come on. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Oh my god. 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 <laughs> Why would you do that to your people? <laughs> <laughs> okay, who starts, John? Wait, 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 wait. Let John go. Wait, John, go. Go. Put in your mouth and say chubby bunny. Make sure that. Well, we all go at the same time. No, we don't. You go one, one, one. Yeah. Other dog. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. All right, John. I don't have a big mouth. Here, John. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Just <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh, that's all days. Oh, oh, my God. Potatoes? <laughs> what is that? You yeah. You can see. That was baby food. Oh my god. Who beats that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's the last one, Atlanta. Go ahead. Take it off the stand. It's not that bad. I'm not. I didn't know I said. You get Luke's face. I can do this. I'm going? Are we going? Yeah, go ahead. Dude, some people actually eat these. <laughs> the Humane Society is selling t-shirts. Anyone who would like a shirt is more than welcome to buy one. Short sleeve shirts are $12, long sleeve shirts are $15, and hoodies are $24. Please see Ms. Jordan in C200 to purchase one. Also, Student Council will have a meeting this Thursday in the library after school. This past weekend, 35 LHS students competed in the YMCA's Youth and Government Conference in Nashville. Students worked together prior to the conference to create laws which they think would benefit the state. They presented them to their peers at the conference. The following students earned special honors from the YMCA. Azra Haley and Hannah Lawson earned the Outstanding Delegate Award and Azura Haley and Sam Bond earned the Outstanding Bill Award. In addition, a record-breaking three LHS students were elected to serve as conference officers next year. Tabitha Anderson will serve as Red Lieutenant Governor, Wayne Matthews will serve as Speaker of the Blue House, and Emma Peruki will serve as Blue Four Leader. Congratulations, everyone. Any FFA member interested in attending FFA camp May 25th to the 29th needs to see an advisor for details. The last day to register is Friday, April 3rd. Prom will be at the mill on April 17th. Tickets are $55 and can be purchased at the bank or online. If you buy your tickets before Wednesday, you will get a free t-shirt. Now here's Logan and Ray with sports. Hey, let's us. I'm Logan. And I'm Raymond, and here is your sports news. This past weekend, the National Predators battled against Central Division rival Colorado Avalanche. This is crunch time for the Preds, as there are roughly five weeks remaining in the NHL campaign. This was a tight one throughout the full 60 minutes, as these teams battled hard for a crucial two points. Victor Arvidsson and Callie Yarncroak tallied goals for the Preds, but sadly fell by a score of 3-2. to two. The Preds resume play tonight against the Edmonton Oilers in Nashville at 7. Friday night, the Memphis Grizzlies took on the Sacramento Kings. The Grizzlies took a disappointing loss to the Kings, losing 104-101. to The leading scorer for the Grizzlies was Dylan Brooks with 32 points, but sadly it wasn't enough to get the job done. The Grizzlies then went to L.A. to face the Los Angeles Lakers. They took a very exciting win, beating the Lakers by 17 points with a final score of 105-88. to John Morant went off for 27 points, and the Grizzlies are starting to pull away with the 8th seed as they are now three games ahead of the New Orleans Pelicans. The Vanderbilt Commodores concluded their three-game weekend series against Hawaii. Vandy looked spectacular as they concluded their week with a 4-1 record, sending them to a 10-3 overall record. Tennessee baseball is continuing to show their talent as they have moved to 12-0 on the season. Highlighting the weekend, they swept their three-game set versus George Washington University by the following scores of 7-1, to 7-3, to three, and 10 to nothing, The NFL Combine began this sun, uh, last Sunday at Lucas Oil Stadium, the home field for the Indianapolis Colts. Today is the last day of the Combine, as we have seen some stellar athletes. Some of the biggest climbers from the Combine are Jonathan Taylor, Justin Jefferson, Jalen Hurts, Chase Claypool, Cam Akers, Denzel Mims, and Isaiah Simmons. Your Lebanon Devilettes face off against the Northwest Vikings tonight in the second round of the regional tournament. The game begins at 6 p.m. They are coming off of a huge route against Clarksville as they prevailed by a score of 62-26. to If you are feeling extra supportive to take the hour and a half drive, come out and support our ladies. 
The 2020 Summer Olympics have been in discussions of being canceled due to the outbreak of coronavirus around the Asia area, and the Olympics are set are as of right now set to take place in Tokyo. But according to bookmakers, there's a better chance it's canceled than it's not. The baseball team will be hosting our first pitch dinner on Friday, March the 6th at 6 p.m. We will have a silent auction, live auction, and dinner catered by Dickie's Barbecue. Tickets are $10 each and can be purchased at the door or in advance from any baseball player. The guest speaker this year is former MTSU head coach and TBCA Hall of Fame inductee Jim McGuire. Contact any baseball coach if you have any questions. This past Saturday, our rugby team played their first scrimmage this season against Riverdale, winning with a score of 55-15. to Dalton Woods scored three, uh, three items with two tries. Daniel Davila tackled on some points as well. Their next game is after spring break, so stay tuned and BDM will keep you informed. That's all for your sports news. Now back to you, Noel. Thanks, guys. That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Ron Burgundy. And I'm Noel. And this has been news to you from, from the, the White and Blue. Blue. Stay classy, LHS. <laughs>